Hi guys, here we are. We're talking about lesson 2.4, partial quotients. Now quotients we know is the answer to a division problem. Partial means we're gonna do this problem in chunks. So what I need to do is on the right hand side of the problem, I am gonna put uh, what I call the tally line. And we're gonna do this in chunks. Now, instead of figuring out, well, can four be divided by 17? No, it can't. Can 47 be divided by 17? Yeah, it's uh, two something. Well. I'm going to do this in chunks. And what I mean by that is I'm going to say, well, what's 17 times a nice round, or I tell the kids all the time, uh, 17 times a big fat number? Well, a big fat number, to, in my opinion, is a 10, a nice round 10. 17 times 10, well, we learned all you have to do is just add the zero over here. So I'm going to take 170 away from that 476. But I'm going to keep in mind, I'm going to keep a tally, a partial answer a partial quotient of 10. So let's subtract this out. 6 minus 0 is 6. 7 minus 7 is 0. 4 minus 1 is 3. And I look at that and say, okay, I've done part of it. Can I do it again? Can I take another 170 away from that? The answer is yes. So I'm going to underneath this, I'm going to say, well, I'm going to do it again. 17 times 10. Keep track of it over here. And I'm going to go back over here and say, well, okay, let's take 170 away from what I just previously did. 6 minus 0 is 6. Can't take 7 away from 0, so I have to regroup. 10 minus 7 is 3, and 2 minus 1 is 1. So now I look at it again, and I say, can I take 170 away from it again? The answer is no, I can't. So what should I do? Well, 17 times 10 is 170. What if I did 17 times 5? So over here, I'm just going to see, well, what is 17 times 5? 7 times 5 is 35. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Can I take 85 away from 136? The answer is yes. So in my work area, I'm going to say, okay, 17 times 5. I'm going to go over my tally. I'm going to say, well, I am including this 5. 17 times 5, we said, is 85. So I am going to go ahead and subtract 85 from the 136. 6 minus 5 is 1. And i got to regroup. 13, uh, 8 from 13 is 5. So we got 51. And I say, well, I can't do 17 times 5 again. I still know that 51 can be divided by 17. So let's see, 17 is almost 20. So I'm going to try half of that, which is around 2. So I'm going to say, well, what's 17 times 2? 7 times 2, of course, is 14. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, 34. All right, well, let's try, how about 3? 17 times 3. 7 times 3 is 21. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 51. Hey, right on the money. So I'm going to say in my work area, 17 times 3. Forget my tally over here. Got to subtract out that 51. And I got 0. I'm done with this problem, except... Now I'm going to add up all of my partial quotients, my partial answers. I got 10, 17 times 10, plus 10, 17 times 10, plus 5, 17 times 5, and 3, 17 times 3. I add all of those up. 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 3, 10, 20, 25, 28. So my answer is 28. 476 divided by 17 is 28. Again, I did this in chunks. I did it in parts. Now, if I got a remainder, and it's okay to get a remainder, as long as I can't divide it by the divisor, I'm okay. I'm good to go. So I'm going to keep doing it smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller until I can't do it anymore. Once I do that, I add up all my mini answers, all my partial quotients, and there's my answer. Hopefully you guys got this. We're going to work on this a little bit more tomorrow. Have a great night.